another factor that affects the climate of an area is whether it's n that area or region is near a large body of water. Now, we're not talking about a small little lake, uh, but something huge like the Gulf of Mexico, one of the oceans, or even Lake Ontario slightly as well. So imagine we have uh, two locations, two cities. So uh, here's the land and here's the large body of water over here. So some places are inland cities, so they're really far away. Let's think like Nebraska or Kansas. So here is city A, and we'll have city B, which is right on the water, and we're talking about maybe Washington, D.C. or Miami. So one is an inland location, city A. The other is a coastal city, city B. Because of water's high specific heat, it is going to take longer for that water to heat up. It's also going to take longer for that water to cool down. So you remember from the front page of your reference tables, liquid water has a specific heat of over 4 joules per gram. Yet land, which is made out of rock, maybe some basalt and granite, that has a specific heat of less than 1 joule per gram. So that, that land is going to heat up a lot faster than the water is going to heat up. So if we looked at the temperatures of the cities over, t over a year, we might see that City A, the hottest temperature at City A maybe gets up to 95 degrees. So let's say that's the hottest it gets, or what does that say, 96? Let's say the hottest temperature gets up to 96 degrees at City A. Yet, in the wintertime, the coldest temperature found at City A drops all the way down to, let's say, there is 4 degrees. So the coldest gets 4 degrees Fahrenheit. The range, or the difference between them, is quite large. So we have a large range in temperature. From wintertime, coldest temperature, to the summertime, hottest temperature is a 92 degree range. But since City B is near the water, near a large body of water, the water itself is going to heat up more slowly in the summertime. And since City B is near that water, it's going to have that cooling effect as well. And that temperature is not going to get up to 96. Maybe that summertime temperature is going to get up to around there, what do we got, 85 degrees. So for City B, the hottest it's going to get is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. In the wintertime, the water has a lot of energy in it, and it's going to take a long time to cool down. So it's not going to cool down as quickly as the land does, so its temperature might drop down to about 12 degrees in the wintertime. You'll notice that we have a much lower temperature range. Now we have a 73 degree range. So if you live near a large body of water, what happens is the large body of water heats up slower than the land, it cools down slower than the land, and it sets up that those inland locations have a larger temperature range than the coastal locations. If you're near a large body of water, you have a smaller temperature range, your summer times are a little bit cooler, your winter times are a little bit warmer. If you haven't already, go ahead and copy this down into your notes. So because water has a high specific heat, it heats up slower and cools down slower than land. Compared to inland locations, water locations, regions away from large bodies of water, coastal areas have cooler summers, they have warmer winters, that means the climate is more mild, it doesn't have the large extremes, and the temperature range is going to be lower.